Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today we're going to take a look at the Chinese at some a match from the Chinese tournament. So we have two Chinese players. One is uh, the one and only Luna uh, Lovegood and the other one is I don't know. Um, but his name on the Discord goes by Tatra. And so uh, this is what we're we're it's it's a meme name of course on the Discord, but this is what we're gonna call him. So in the blue corner is Luna, in the red is Tatra. He's uh, Tatra is using Group Turina on Maverick, and Luna is using Fifty Second Shishirung on uh, Balance. And, and Shishirung, I think it's a pretty weird deck to go into a tournament with, but who knows. So you can see a lot of PTRS as you would uh, as you would see in the in tournaments. So this is pretty usual usual stuff. They are a bit of fight. You know what? Let's uh, let's go. What map is that? Oh yeah. Okay, I got my bearing. Let's uh, let's stay like this. No, let's stay like this. We start like that. We'll start like this. Um. Yeah. So a lot of fighting already in the north, in the south, not so much. In the north, not so much. In the south, uh, some fighting. And um, Tatra has already started to get the town. He's going pretty heavily with his uh, SVT. There is a uh, oh, there is a uh, PTRS rifle here that actually took care of the M2A1. So now Tatra is going to unload the Strelki SVT and uh, will start shooting at that Shishirung. But it looks like it's being damaged pretty bad by what that 50 mil it looks like oh what a blunder that was he loaded back his infantry tried to get away but just couldn't this is a 40 millimeter heat round anti-tank rifle so th there's a lot going on here stump pioneers are coming in i think that the tank this and nick are going to be able to recover before they do no actually there's a street there but it's not going to have time to shoot here in the south, we have complete overtaking uh, of the flag by Le, by Tatra. And so Luna is in big problem. Luna is a very good player. I was never able to defeat him. So uh, just that Tatra is able to completely overwhelm him that much is a sign of his great power. But it looks like he's gonna start losing town. Uh, there's flamers coming in as here. But there, there's also some de Tenko de Saint Niki, so they could do some damage against this Stump Pioneer. Let's not forget that uh, Luna doesn't have any tanks whatsoever in phase A. In phase B, he's gonna have access to three um, Panthers recon, and then in C phase, is gonna be the whole roll out of panther but will he make it there uh i don't think so because well i mean tatra looks like he's he, he's handling things pretty good right now let's have an uh, overview of the battlefield with that plane action is pretty much stopped around here there's a little bit of action over there Nothing much though. These tanks are gonna roll in with a T4 as well for support, so that's gonna be good. Right, so I guess that's Shishong. That's some flag troopin. Flag troopin are being shot. There's more reinforcement coming into town. There's a plane. Let's take a look from the sky. There's still a battle here in the in the north for the flag. Uh, right now, the flag belongs to Tatra, so it is still 15-9 for him. The fight in the in town over there. Continued. The Stump Pioneer looks like they're going for the Tanko de Saint Niki. That plane is not going a lot of places. I wish. 
Alright, let's go back to the C4 here. There you go. Alright, so the Stump Pioneers were going for the Tankos. Uh, with the smoke, they, they were successful in, in taking town over there. Now, there's a lot of reinforcement in the form of Shishirongs coming into town. They're going to be able, probably, to take care of that T4 from the side or the back at least. Maybe even from the front if they're really lucky. The uh, T34 died from that Pack 36, I would imagine, or maybe that 85 mil. There's just a bunch of uh, HE lobbying units there. Yak-9 in action. So let's get a view of that battlefield from the sky. IG-290 is going to die. Tatra... Uh, who had this town originally? Oh yeah, they never, they never fought there. That's the south. Right, these guys are not gonna do much anymore. Fight of fight in town looks like it calmed down. Yeah, good CQC unit in the forest here. Missed the target. Oh. One IL-2 down. There you go. Looks like the Soviets are gaining back control of the sky. That 85 mil is going to die just about now. There you go, now it dies. Now, there's a lot of infantry, but there's almost no uh, support weapon, uh, except for these two. But uh, nothing like the tank will be able to destroy that. But I think it will die from the Pack 40, actually. It's not looking good. Tatra now controls all of this forest. There are uh, FS Jaggers here. Might be able to take care of that BA-10. Will definitely take care of these tank on the Sant Niki. Uh, especially two star like that, but then the IL-2 might go for it. Not much happening over there. Oh wow. Lots of HE uh, 50 mil mortars are doing the job. Um, don't know why the Strelki are still in their trucks over there, but they might die. No, doesn't die. Yak9 coming in, support. We'll probably try to take the FS Jagger. Or just flying. Uh, yeah, exactly. He's going for that. Here you go. That is some nice suppression. And uh, now there's there's nothing. There's just a flat Tupin here for, uh, for Luna. Still a lot of mortars over there in the south uh, being shot. But nothing much. There are some planes getting shot. Here, let's look at what's happening. Nothing much, nothing much. I think this guy's gonna have to retreat. He's gonna get that BF-109 on his tail now. There you go, gets the strike. There you go. And that's a kill for the BF-109. He's 
being shot from uh, from someone I don't know who it looks like he's trying to boom and zoom but it doesn't there's no target anywhere oh wow a lot of t4s are coming in reinforcement there uh, I think these guys are fucked no matter what 16-8 for Tatra Not looking good for Luna at all. These mortar are being useful, but uh, everything else is just. There's too much to cope with. We should be able to see the pet. There you go. There's the uh, Petter of Clara. And I, you know what? I don't know what they're doing. Okay, I guess he's being used defensively. Uh, there's there's no, no, no point uh, being aggressive right now. There's no unit to be aggressive with. Nice unit. But anyway, they are some infantry coming in. FS Jaggers are on their way as well. Ouch. Back 30 seats. Shooting heat reg heat heat rounds and there's no recon, so it took oh wow is not looking good for Tatra but still there is much more coming in has been secured by some uh, beefy units oh wow that panther is going for his death it's gonna be surrounded by 380 a fourth one maybe Closing his side. Ooh, ouch! Doesn't even kill the T3476. This spell the end for Luna. There's no way he's gonna ever whoa, he's ever gonna get back from that. Not sure exactly what this guy's doing. There you go. Oof, misses the shot. Enough to make him unload here. And that's a Stomviki unit. Not great in the open. F109 down in the distance. Uh, this will have to retreat as well. Now there's significant anti-air, uh, and I don't know if Luna may be in, uh, invested too much in anti-air or not. I mean, there is quite a bit of air in the air, but uh, these were not useful at all. And it costs 110 points, which could have been more infantry. They died easily.
and there you go this is the game and this was part of the Chinese tournament this is how they play and um, yeah Luna got severely damaged you don't often see that I don't at least so there you go good game to both players whose profile can we see that's Luna yeah he's a good look at that if Luna is such is that good of a player imagine uh, that guy yeah not a lot of difference in the kills though it's pretty close it's surprising how close it is anyway guys hope you enjoyed the gameplay and I will see you for another one goodbye